Ciao guys and welcome back to Lempis. Today we are going to talk about one of the things that is asked most like on our I channel. don't know on our channel. Babies, when are we having kids? Having kids, are we ready? Do we even want kids? Like that's we are just going to get into that discussion as to why we still do not have kids. I mean we have been together for about seven years already and we still have no children. Yeah. So before we get to that topic, we are traveling to Malta very soon for Ali's birthday celebration. And please, I invite you to check out Lempis on Instagram and just get to know what you actually up to when you're in Malta, mostly what you're going to be eating. I'll be posting a lot of food pictures. So guys, before we get into this discussion, remember to subscribe if you're new here and if you're an old Lempis, give a like, leave a comment. All those things are very important to us and they really, really help our channel grow. We appreciate your support very much. Kids, why don't we have kids up to now? Kids? <laughs> no, I'm not I had kids. Yeah, it's fine that you had kids. Why don't we have a cat at the moment? Because we we have cat part time actually. <laughs> we have a cat part time that is kind of two cats. One is black and white, and the other one is red, and they are coming like just occasionally. When we look at our YouTube comments, the most asked thing, especially from the wedding and anything that we did together, is when are we going to have children good question i have no idea but let me ask <laughs> ali are we ready to have kids now or are you ready let me ask you are you ready to have children i mean i'm the ep of the couple here and probably i would say yes we are ready so if we start ready tomorrow you're you're like yes let me we're there let's let's have children now not really <laughs> 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 because as I said, from one side I really want to have a family and starting have kids. From the other side instead, I think I, I'm also really uh, enjoying the situation that we have at the moment. We are both working, so we have two incomes. We have the so much free times that we can really uh, travel and enjoy our life. Or are you ready to have children? Are you never ready to have children? I think this is the point. Are you trying to tell me if you're 19 years, yeah, have sex, you can reproduce, you're, you're never ready to try then or what? I mean, parenthood for me is, I think, is one of the most amazing experiences you can have in life. But you, you need to be ready, but as much as you can prepare for it, you will never be because Let's be honest, it's something that just change everything. You become second in your priority list. Uh, we are individual and we put our needs at first every single time, right? But in when, when you become a parent, it's like the first things that you think is the child and then it, uh, it comes yourself. So I don't feel ready. Lempi, are you? Like now I am not ready to have children. Yeah, we are a beautiful couple and you are very supportive a, as a partner to like, yeah, yeah, we could actually have children. But, guys, I just finished my PhD a year ago. I want to sleep. I, I just need space at the moment. I'm like... Are you not concerned that biological clock is ticking and uh, you're getting older? Yes. I mean, sometimes, like, okay, if I want to have children, it's now or never, but I I grew up um, in an African village. Mm -hmm. And growing up there, I have seen experience, I, I know what it is for somebody to have a child when they are not ready. Now, in most cases, it ruins the, also the life, you know, just the way it disturbed the, a teenage girl who just got pregnant. But that is even a minor thing. The really, what really hurts me just to see how the kids grow up without their parents because their parents were not ready to have children because maybe they were too young and stuff. So I'm always saying when I am going to have kids, when I really decide that I'm going to take time away from work and stuff and focus on raising the children. Mm. For so me, I think this is the whole main thing, not even about money, it's really... Am I going to be there as a parent? 
Yes. So let me say you are traumatized because you have described. <laughs> yes, you I'm are. Not. Because yes, let, let, let me say you just described a situation that is not your case because you haven't done that. You I overcome know, this obstacle. You are like a successful woman. You are now in your 30s and you are ready because let's be honest. You have yes. a partner that supports you. You have uh, a good job. I do have a good job. So what is missing yeah, in the what picture? Now what is missing is the question that I have always for myself. In my case I feel I'm barely able to manage myself. True. And exactly. really like how can I possibly <laughs> be responsible for another person on this world? Yeah, entirely. Entirely. But I mean every single one of us feel this way because let's be honest, as much as you can think about having kids we are you are never uh, really prepared 100 percent. you don't know what it really is until i think you have children mm -hmm. so one time i was talking to a friend a woman and i was like yeah you know i don't think i'm going to be a good parent i'm scared i don't really have good behaviors and things like that and she was like you know lempi you don't need to think about all that because to be honest your child is the only person that's going to love you unconditionally for who you are for they're me. not going to charge to, to they're not going to judge you anyway it's just like my mom my mom is beautiful my superwoman so and it's kind of inspiring but if i'm ready to dive in now mm, and uh, no Be before i met you i never thought of myself as as a mother mm -hmm. N never but after i've been with you for some years and i saw how nice you are as a person and how supportive you feel. I'm like, I think you are definitely going to be an, I was like a very nice father. But now when I think of Lempi, you know how strict I am with my rules? Just how Lempi has to wake up this time and stuff and like, now a child comes in there. I, I don't know if I'm going to be the most amazing mother. So that concerned me a little bit. And apart from that, I feel like as, as a newly married couple, yeah, take your time. Like, I think we do that when we are ready. It's not about for our parents to, to to force us to have kids because they want to have grandchildren. It's not about the society or our friends say, oh, you guys, you guys have been married, you've been together for when. It's, it's really up to us to decide and when we know that we are ready. In our days, like, uh, especially when you get married, you get an um, incredible amount of pressure from external society, for, from friends, from people. It's yeah. just like the next step is children. children. Uh, you know, I remember when we just I mean, by then we haven't even set the wedding date and we're talking to my friends that, yeah, we engaged now and you're planning to have a wedding. Then it's, oh, you guys, we're not going to be traveling together anymore because you'll be having, <laughs> you're going to have children right away. I'm like, wh why? We enjoy traveling and I think we really love to travel. Like, I would love to do a little bit more safari because I feel like before we have children. And we are going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I know. By the I way, like... by the way, I, I just want to take these uh, chances here to ask you guys, since we are going to travel two times to Namibia this year, we are planning so many contents that are Namibia and Safari related. And we would like to know from you, what would you like to see? Like about what, Namibia. About so Namibia, well. which aspect of Namibia would you like to be uh, uh, told about, about? Especially for me as a woman, about 30 i'm like ha, 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 now or never now then comes mother-in-law saying lampy ha ha ah, yes. you have only two years now or never like, no lampy uh, my mother is actually saying mm, ale career woman she's yes. not going to give you children <laughs> no really <laughs> yes no I, i'm gonna have yeah, I'm gonna have children. One of the concepts that are always there, especially from the woman's side, is oh my goodness, I'm going to go through pe pregnancy. And uh, for most for most women, this is a, a huge uh, deal because their body are changing. And uh, is that also for you, like that? Like I'm concerned for that, never. Mm. No. Are you concerned about giving birth? Not really. I mean, I was a little bit traumatized in the day. I used to watch a show, like a live show about giving birth, which maybe I should have not watched. But I Another <laughs> second trauma. Yeah. So I'm not concerned about my body change. I, you as a husband, feel like, oh my goodness, now Lempi is going to get the, Are you Are you concerned about me looking? No, I'm not concerned. I'm Amazing. not concerned. So that's not the Also issue. because I get the most beautiful woman. <laughs> Thank no you. One. Thank you, babe. But uh, so basically the issue is not money, it's not about, uh, the issue really comes down to are we going to be there for the children? And I told you about all this teenage pregnancy and how that really traumatized me. 
just looking at children growing up without their parents and being raised by their grandmother most of the time, I always feel like we don't necessarily have to have our own biological children. Mm -hmm. We we can also opt to adopt. I'm open on an adoption yet that I have visited Namibia, uh, Namibia and I've seen this this huge part of the culture that you have, ah, yeah. which is like really your mother raising kids that are, that, that were not her own uh, neighbors and or neighbors kids or paying namesake. yes paying for their fees for the university. That's something that really changed my mind about. Uh, uh, family Humanity. like for uh, before that I was probably just thinking about yes having my own biological children but at this point in time I think I would not mind like I would not mind I think it's a good actually it's a good thing is uh, like it's really a gesture that is so it is it, generous and is so right that uh, I think we might really plan to have also some adopted children yes, wait. We are definitely planning to have kids in the future. Not now and only on our own terms, at our own pace, when we are ready to take care of kids emotionally. I'm going to put it emotionally. Financially, I think we can do that. But emotionally, mm -hmm. just to be there for them, that's the important thing. So that was it from us today. Thank you so much for watching. But before I say that, I just I think you're going to make an amazing. You're going to be an amazing father. You're really your personality I think, is. Uh, I mean, uh, I also think that you are going to be an amazing ma mother. Actually, but it's not because um, it, it because you think that I'm going to be an amazing father because of your the love sweet, yes, uh, of my like, sweetness. Oh. But it's not yes, only about, you know, raising a child is not only about sweetness nice. because otherwise the, the, the child is getting spoiled and on my point of view, I love children but I, what, what I hate most is seeing a child that is spoiled and on that matter, I am <laughs> sure that the African mother here, the Meme, Meme Lampi is going to do a good job because she has been raised, also I have been also raised, uh, we say it in Italy like uh, with the stick and the carrot, I don't know. Uh, you were, were raised with a stick and a carrot, but yes. I understand the stick, I don't know what the carrot stands, but the stick for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> carrot is like the sweet part. <laughs> ah, okay. So, <laughs> so guys, that was it from us. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, thumbs up, subscribe, and most important guys, leave a comment in the section below. Ciao, ciao, ciao! ciao. ciao.